A local doctor calls it a medical breakthrough, comparing it to when we graduated from landline phones to smartphones. The technology is being evaluated right now as part of a clinical trial for people who need a pacemaker for their heart. It's a minimally invasive procedure, and because there are no wires, no incisions, doctors say there are fewer complications. I was a little nervous in the beginning because this procedure had, hadn't been done before. Cecilia Lee is taking part in a human experiment to treat her sluggish heart rate. I had a very low heartbeat, and it could be dangerous. The condition called heart block can cause people to get tired, dizzy, out of breath, and it diminishes their quality of life. The 58-year-old needed a pacemaker, but instead of a traditional one, she opted for one that's being evaluated as part of a clinical trial, becoming the first person in this region to have this experimental device implanted. It has all the benefits of a traditional pacemaker, all the ability to help an individual with a slow heart rhythm, but without any device under the skin, without wires, and hopefully better long-term outcomes. That's Dr. Zaid Eldada, who performed the procedure last month at MedStar Washington Hospital Center in D.C. Unlike traditional pacemakers that require threading wires through veins to the heart and then connecting them to a metal pacemaker implanted under the skin, the Avair dual-chamber leadless pacemaker uses two miniature pacemakers, each smaller than a AAA battery. They're inserted through a catheter in the large vein of the thigh and implanted directly into the upper and lower chambers of the heart to normalize heart rhythm. Two units to communicate with one another, not through wires, but actually transmitting signals through the patient's blood itself. It's not unreasonable, actually, to call this technologic leap forward, perhaps something akin to graduating from a rotary dial landline to a cell phone. Dr. Eldada says the procedure is less invasive, which reduces the risk for bleeding and infections. And it has fewer long-term problems that can develop with traditional pacemakers that use wires. The wires themselves over time might suffer problems such as insulation breaks, um, the need for replacement. So to eliminate all of that by implanting the actual system inside the heart is a big leap forward. He says the new minimally invasive procedure takes less than an hour and patients can go home from the hospital the same day. The procedure went very smoothly. Then I took just one Tylenol that was just minimal pain. Cecilia's now back to doing things that she loves like gardening and playing the piano. And she says this new pacemaker has helped her in ways she didn't expect. It's a little easier to do um, strenuous activities. I also noticed that I sleep much better and I wake up much easier. No wonder she's smiling. <laughs> the Aver dual chamber leadless pacemaker was developed by Abbott. It's being evaluated as part of a worldwide clinical trial. We don't know when something like this will get FDA approval, but Dr. El Dada says he's hopeful it could be available by the end of this year. Wow, that's awesome.